Hello, dwarfs and dwarfettes. This is Mick Jury Duty Summons. And we just got a caravan. Caravans are great. Um, but they always seem to show up right before you're actually ready for them. So, <laughs> what I did is I paused the game. And there's a couple things I did as uh, quickly as possible. First of all, I built a... Let's get it in there. Okay. I built a uh, crafts... Craftsdorf's workshop. It's under uh, buildings and, and workshops. And I set the gentleman up to building toys, crafts, and instruments. All of those things are excellent to sell to the um, to the caravan. But we're not going to have many because we didn't start early. Um, I also set up statues to be built. Hopefully he'll get to it. Uh, bins are useful for the craft workshop. So I've got a few of those going just for now. And I, I dug out an area here. So the the caravan needs a place to actually uh, be able to park and to, to sell their stuff. And so I built here an area, 5x5 five five area, to fit the trading depot. And uh, I hooked it up to my base, so if that way, if we get invaded while the trade uh, caravan is here, I can lift that fence and, um, well, not a fence, but the, um, the bridge, and it, it will protect the caravan as well as me, or as well as... Um, yeah, my base. So anyway, let's build that trade uh, trade depot. Yeah, so it's uh, B, and then I believe it's, let's see, I think it's capital D. There we go, trade depot. Then we'll put that in there. We'll use some, um, let's say, conglomerate, because that's going to be closer. And then we'll, um, so yeah, I got some everything going. All right, hopefully that gets done real quick. Oops, let's get out of that menu. There we go. So I do have some. I do have one person finishing that trap over there. There's a third one built. So yeah, that's fine. Come on. You know, I may not have. I may not have architecture ready. Hmm. Let's check to see how many of my guys have architecture. You can see I got a few more dwarves in here. And I went through and named everybody I could so far. Uh, I think I'm out of names to use. So there we go. All right, so we have... Oh, the one thing I didn't mention before is you need to hit Read Dwarves to update this. And let's see who we have for architecture. This is the thing you need for to build a you know, planet of building. Um, okay, he's doing something all right. He's my mason and stone detailer. What else? Uh, and he's the mechanic. Is there anybody else here who is not busy and can be a... So you can see their current job right there. That guy is a miner, but he does not appear to be doing anything, so I will enable architecture for him. And maybe a backup mechanic. There we go. Perfect. Come on, let's go. Build it for me. Build it. Yeah, so my mechanic is busy building that trap. So that's part of the issue there. But I can actually suspend that. So we'll hit S for suspend. Because it's it's lower priority than getting this trade depot going. Because they won't wait around forever. Oh, you can see at the bottom there, my mason, uh, my, my, my craft dwarf actually created a masterpiece. That's good. That should sell for quite a bit more. All right, I'm going to pause until we have everything ready. All right, it looks like the trade depot is finished. Oh, whoopsie daisy. There we go. <laughs> There's my Skype handle in case everybody doesn't have it already. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So I'm bringing up the queue to uh, take a look at the uh, options for this building. And so uh, see two things there. The caravan hasn't parked there yet, so we don't get all the options, but we can still bring start bringing stuff over there. So I'll hit G to move goods, and we're going to take a look at what we have available. So we'll go down to crafts, and uh, that's what we have so far. I'm just going down to each one, hitting enter, and that's going to tell my dwarves that we want that move to the trading bin. To the um, trading bin, but to the uh, whatever it's called, the um, trade center. To the toys, we got a few more things to trade. And instruments, a few more things to trade. Anything else that is valuable? We don't really have a lot right now. I could get rid of some of my uh, trap components that I built. 
It could sell wine or food or fish or plants or anything you want, but right now I am just not going to do that. Let's see. All right, that's enough for now. All the doors are going to go crazy. Uh, the one thing we need to do is decide on a broker. And um, so we're going to do that through the end, through the through the noble's window. We already have a noble, um, ignoble noble. I'll go over nobles more later when we have some. Um, but the broker is going to be able, it's going to be the best position to, to do trading for us. Let's decide here. Anybody have any skills that are useful? Can we use the expedition leader for this? Um... I think so. Yeah, that'll be fine. The thing is, if he has other jobs, um, you have to you have to stop those temporarily, so he doesn't actually go do you know his work. So let's see. Until the dwarves uh, hurryingly bring stuff, to, hurryingly hurrying. Well, they're moving quick. <laughs> they're hurrying. Oh, you can see over here are some walls I'm attempting to build. They're not done yet, but they will be finished soon, I'm sure. That will make sure, because um, there, there wasn't any anything there to stop people from coming up. Oh, caravan has arrived. Good. Perfect. Car the first caravan always seems to come way too soon, way before I'm ready. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, is everybody finished bringing stuff? Yep, it looks like they have. All right, so I'm bringing up this again. Uh, I get an R for trader requested at depot. And we don't want to make it so anybody can trade. We want to train up the skill uh, of, of our broker there. And so we'll hit request. So hurry. hopefully the guy will get there soon. He apparently was eating, so we'll have to wait. And, oh, come on. Where are you at? Eat your mushroom and get back over here. <laughs> hurry up, bastard. Come on. It's all right. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, here he comes. Yay. Okay, now that our broker's there, we can actually trade. So we'll highlight the building, hit T for trade. And on the left is all of the, um, all of the trade goods they have available. And on the right is all the stuff we brought that we want to possibly sell. And so what I want to do first is to go through and highlight everything that I, that I have available because I don't have a lot and I basically just probably want to sell everything here. There's no reason to keep any of this. Um, this stuff, did they take it? Nah. If it's highlighted in white, I believe that's something your, your, your fort didn't build. Something like that. See. All right, so we have a total value of about 1300 worth of junk. And so that's not a lot, but it's good. So it means we can probably uh, get about 800, 800 goods worth of stuff out of the uh, trade thing. And so what I'm basically looking for here is um, let's get some glass. Having a couple glass is a really good idea for reasons that don't necessarily want to get into right now, but um, there are things called strange moods that can happen, and the dwarfs may require it. It's uh, it's not a bad idea to buy wood from the from the, from the um, caravan in case um, you don't have a lot of wood where you're at. So that's, a, that's another source, just in case. Don't really care about most of that stuff. Uh, let's see here. Cages don't care. Um, booze, beer, good. I want to get some beer. Having a couple more barrels is nice. Uh, some rum, some wine. Dwarves love to drink multiple kinds of, of liquor. If they just have one kind of liquor, they get a bad thought. So help avoid that. Have uh, multiple kinds. And since we only have one crop right now, all we're making is um, the stuff from Plum Pellets, which I think is the Dwarven wine. And also you could buy... Um, seeds here hopefully I'm looking for some seeds I'm gonna buy a bag that way we can put all the seeds in that bag I don't really want plum helmet spawn but I, I guess that works so it's a bag of plum helmet spawn that's the stuff we're planting currently 
That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Another bag. They're pretty cheap, so we'll do that. I would like to find more seeds of different kinds. Hmm. Rock nuts. Um, yeah, we'll get some rock nuts, but I'm not sure I want, you know. I kind of want to get a cloth bin, but I think I'll wait on that because um, they're a bit expensive. We do need the cloth, but uh, not urgently. So we'll get a couple leather. Let's get a couple cloth there. Just in case of a strange mood. Ah, yes, that's one of the things we needed urgently. Uh, this, the Embark profile I chose, did not come with an anvil. And so there's no way to make an anvil. You have to either embark with one or buy one from a caravan. So there we go. Prepared Dralic something or other, probably heart. Oops. Um, yeah, dog meat's fine. Any kind of regular meat. Anything with prepared tends to be, um, what's it called? Um awful and I mean that as in the guts of the animal so that's a bit awful or just don't like eating it very much it's, I think you can give a bad thought it's better than nothing but it's not very good it can be cooked and it's fine but um, there should be there should be some choices that aren't awful uh, some cave fish some cave lobster just a little bit of variety would be nice and we'll do that cave lobster don't really need plump helmets, uh, but I will buy a couple stacks. What else do we got? Some cheese. I'm running out of trade value. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, I didn't. They didn't really have everything I wanted. I wanted to get some. I wanted to get some other stuff, but um, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. We can we can figure it out. All right, so once you've decided everything you were going to want to trade on the left, or on uh, everything you want to buy on the left and trade on the right, just hit uh, T to offer to trade. And there you go. They they were willing to accept. Uh, things on the left are, I think the brown things are the things you just traded, so uh, don't give them back, I guess. I don't remember offhand if you can sell this stuff to them. Let's see if we can. Oops. Is that stuff I just... We'll just do one item. I don't want to piss them off too much. There we go. Let's get some sweet bread. <laughs> In case you don't know, sweet bread is the brains of an animal. Oh, okay. They they took him. I didn't remember if they did or not. All right. And once you're done, the dwarves will go crazy. I meant uh, they'll go and grab the stuff you just bought. If there's a place to put it. So what they'll do is they'll, they'll stock it. They'll uh, drop in stockpiles. If you don't have a stockpile for a particular item, it will just sit there in the trade caravan. Which is not a huge deal. That's fine. So there we go. That's the basics of your first caravan. Um, for later caravans, it's not a bad idea to have a dwarf working full time to fill up a stockpile worth of trade goods, of uh, craft dwarf goods. Uh, in addition to that, Glass items are really good, or even like metal, metal items made from metal, craft goods made from metal. Um, weapons and armor sell really well. Uh, but that's going to be later on, when you once you have a metal industry going. Currently, we don't have any metal going on. We could buy some right here and then make it into something worthwhile, but they're probably not going to stick around for that long. Uh, you know, while we were trading, let's see if the guy built uh, something here. Let's see what we have. Huh. So if we wanted to, we could sell, trade this over there. This value of this stuff is probably pretty good. Eh, not bad. Anyway, that's it. Have a nice evening. Evening? Have a nice evening. <laughs> All right. Have a nice evening, everybody.